Hi everyone, it's Christina. I have begun doing a seven day workshop with Judy Woods who's from New Zealand and she is an abstract artist and a teacher and what I'm doing is prepping three boards so I've already white gessoed and I'm using a coloured gesso which is a Matisse Whisper Green and then the next step that Judy wanted us to do was to put little bits of um, paper, random bits of paper so I've got some old sticker paper that's just off cuts and ripping them up and putting them onto that background. They're not necessarily sticking down really well and I have no idea what's in the future with Judy uh, because it is seven days uh, but I know that sometimes I like to sandpaper and rub back so I don't know if there's going to be any of that in the future but if they come off I might be happy that that's part of how the end result is. I was quite happy also to leave the brush strokes in the background from the Whisper Green. I thought it might add some texture behind and the little bits of paper I found are actually quite a highly textured paper and I thought that they might end up having some good little bits and pieces to put, you know, just to bring out another bit of texture aside from the paper shapes that come through the black. So this is a black gesso so the next instruction was to cover the whole lot. I left some gaps. I didn't mind. Um, I feel that I was making marks it, while it was wet and I, I don't know, I, it, I almost feel like I went a bit overboard with it but you know you just it's it's almost a warm-up as well. So this black gesso I'm using is an incredibly cheap one just you know it was just from the two dollar shop and it's quite plasticky so I'll be uh, interested to see how it goes down the track whether it dries and peels off or I don't know. I, we'll wait and see. <laughs> so I put some gloves on because I was getting it everywhere, as you do, because you're, pay, you're playing, of course. It's all about playing. A bit more mark making. Just starting to get my head into gear with the mark making. Loosening up a little bit. So what I've got is a broken credit card, I've got a skewer there that's the bamboo skewer that has um, a thick end and a really pointy end so it's quite good for a variety. And that blue piece there is a bit of plastic that's, you know, the, the packaging plastic which is also very quite deeply um, patterned. It's quite a deep pattern so I found as I was pressing it in it was leaving the mark of it. More mark making. Now in between each um, layer I've been drying off with the hair dryer. I mean you know if you were in your studio and doing a lot of work you would probably be able to leave them and go off and work on something else. I really liked how Judy said and I'm well I'm just actually sandpapering the edges a bit so that taking a bit of extra off there. I liked how Judy said that um, working on more than one painting stops you getting bogged into that continuous, I don't know, over and over and I, and I realise that that's something I've been doing. I've got my big large canvas which has been going for four years in my shed out at Wood End and I have been just using it to practice techniques and I just keep going over and over the same canvas so Judy you've inspired me um, I'm going to try to get a couple more canvases and break it up a bit now what we've done is put some masking tape on but at different levels so we've got different areas of black different areas of white and you can use a wet wipe I'm just using mark making like I was on the black Same, seeing how that goes, that little blue bit. The white dried quite quickly, it was quite a thin acrylic, not a gesso or anything, just a, a thin acrylic. So 
had to be quite quick with the mark making. I do have the heater on because in Melbourne, Australia, um, where it, it's icy outside, like it's only um, probably six degrees Celsius outside, so pretty chilly. Not going out today, that's for sure. And why not paint instead? I'm all for that, that's good. <laughs> so yeah, just giving them a dry. Now I wasn't even too fussed about peeling the paint off and having a very, very, um, well, peeling the, 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 that's just a masking tape. I did actually heat it up a bit so the glue was soft to get it off, but I um, wasn't too fussed about the peel of it. I, I thought if it peeled a bit of paint off, it would just add another bit of interest. You can always cover it up a bit later. Um, this is one area I was, I felt like I struggled a little bit in this area. I wasn't really sure how to bring down a little bit of the um, white into the black without it just looking like a smudgy mess. Um, so that's why I used a bit of the blue to just see if I could try something different and get a bit of a different effect. Still not quite sure about it. Uh, but then I thought maybe I'll try a bit of dry brush as I did on the left hand side of that one. Then a little bit more of the heavy white. And this is um, how they've ended up for day one. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.